The following reaction to this series has been completed over on Patreon. Alright people, it is time for Season 6, Episode 9 of Better Call Saul. But before we get started, just a quick catch up if you are watching this over on YouTube, that you can watch the Flint Versions reaction, as well as get early access reactions by supporting the Patreon. I would love your support, but aside from that, let's stop talking and get started. Oh, this sign. It's official now. Man. I mean, if you really think about it, they didn't they didn't really have a choice but to go back to their normal lives. It's just uh it's crazy how they have to just bounce back when like nothing ever happened. But I just wanna know like how the news is gonna come out about Howard and, and how long it's gonna take to find their car. I mean it, it might not be that difficult. I mean they made it pretty obvious with this car just laying out right by the beach. Right. And everything. That is insane. <laughs> they wrong for that one. <laughs> I wonder how Mike feels. Like, what is he thinking doing this right now? Like, oh my god, these people are insane. They did a really good job cleaning it up, though. I just want to see how they both act in private. Okay, good. L let me see how you truly feel now that you don't have to keep up the keep up this little game. This place is going to haunt them now, and good! <laughs> they might just end up moving, obviously, because they just can't handle it. But I hope they have, to they have to stay with this as long as possible. Look, he already pulled out the suitcases. Why? It was your mess. It is honestly crazy how much Mike took to the grave with him. <laughs> wow. Wake up and brush our teeth and go to work. At some point, we'll suddenly realize you know we haven't thought about it at all. None of it. Stacy, Stacy said the same thing. Oh my God! About <laughs> and that's when we'll know. We'll know we can forget. And I feel like Mike also said that too, right? Ugh. But fuck you. You shouldn't forget. Oh. This is going to be interesting, too, because how are they going to figure out anything about Lalo? <laughs> God. Don't allow you. Don Juan. Gustavo. Don Hector. <laughs> Siéntate. Gracias. Don Hector ha hecho una acusación muy, muy seria. What did he say? El atentado contra mi sobrino en su hacienda falló. Lalo le ganó a los asesinos. El día después del ataque, Lalo me llamó. Mantuvimos en secreto que Lalo sobrevivió. Mi sobrino estaba a punto de vengarse del traidor. Frente a frente. Pero desapareció. Esto fue obra del pollero. Don Eladio. Oh, Miriam Fring a los eyes. ojos. Allí verá la verdad. El pollero lo odia. <laughs> oh es my enemigo. god. Él conspira en contra de nosotros. Yo How does he get out of sangre this? Sangre por sangre. Pero me han dicho que ustedes vieron el cuerpo de Lalo. Sí. Well, a burnt crisp, you don't know if that was really him, but they don't know that. The dental records match, remember? Yeah, that's the federales revisan los dientes. Así es, don Eladio. Hermano dice que el registro dental sí coincide. So now what? ¿Y qué me dices de esa rata, Varga? What did he say? ¿Qué dijo antes de morir? Everything directly conflicts with what Hector is saying. There's no proof. Like he's just being emotional or something. Yes, that it's very late, Don Hector. Don Hector. Sé que vienes de lejos. Esta noche duermes en mi cama. No, insisto. 
No hay discusión. Oh. Estoy dando mi cuarto. Está a gusto. Y quién sabe, a lo mejor unas de las chicas te visitarán. Oh, man. <risa> Buenas noches, Héctor. Damn. <laughs> que descanses. I feel like he's, uh, he's, he's going to keep that suspicion, though. It's not just going to write it off and be like, oh. That was a quick conversation, though. Debemos mantener la paz. ¿Qué sugieres? No quiero suponer. Cuando te miré los ojos. He saw it. Odio. Oh! Un poquito. A little bit's no okay. Mal. Siempre y cuando. As long as you never forget no who's boss. Olvides. De quien manda. <laughs> Little does he know that will come back to bite him later on. The doc left these for you in the event that you made it back alive. Tell me about the lawyers. You know, they spent a full afternoon with the cops, played it as they were told, maybe a bit better. The APD consensus is he walked into the ocean and killed himself. Okay. Without a body, they can't close the file. But for all practical purposes, it's over. When can construction resume? <laughs> uh, back to it. We need to find a new engineer and a crew to do the work. That could take some time. Start today. Oh my God. I'm curious to see what this new team's gonna be like. <laughs> And you know he's he's gonna be like, ugh. He's like, if there's nothing left to say, goodbye. Get to it. Mr. Frank. It's so good to see you. It's been a while. Yes, too long. What are you drinking? The dresser on the bar. How is it? Enough said. Rhett. Can you get that bottle from before? Remarkable. Mm -hmm. I thought you'd like it. It is from the birthplace of Syrah, Cote Roti. This one is René Rostand's La Langon. So, I'm in college. I didn't make it to Europe. My first He's time. a real big story and guy, huh? <laughs> a little enthusiastic with my Ural pass. Long story short, I'm in paradise. Ennui. It's 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 this perfect little village in the southeast. It's it's surrounded by vineyards. Everything's green, and they call it the ancient gateway to the Rhone Valley. They've been making wine there since Roman times. Am I talking too much? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, eh. The vineyards <laughs> are so steep. You can't get tractors up there, so they use horses still to this day. You know, there's something I have to show you. The owner bought a bottle of Kegel. I, mean, I can't open it. Oh, of course. But, but the, the bottle itself is, you'll appreciate this. I'll be right back. That was an interesting encounter. It's weird to see him smiling so much, like this much. It's just like, oh, wow. Leave him alone with his thoughts for too long. His face goes back to normal. <laughs> Brett. Would you let David know that I've been called away? Of course, Mr. Frank. Have a good evening. Thank you. Back to his life. <laughs> oh. How long has it been since he's been home? <laughs> oh, God. He's been away for so long. I still want to know how um, his father's going to get the news that Nacho's dead. You can tell it's... Oh... 
I mean, like, you can tell it's eating away at Mike. So, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if... Oh, look at his face. Like, little did he know that that was going to be the last phone call he would have with his son. I think this is Mike. You don't know me, but I'd like to talk about your son. My son? What happened? Maybe we could talk face to face. He's going to remember I'm you. Outside. Oh, it's going to happen right now. Who are you? It's not important. I saw you here before. Yep. Holy shit. He remembers. What about my son? I'm sorry. He won't be found. Oh, that's how he's going to tell him. Just. It was over fast. No pain. You were there. I was there. God. Your son made some mistakes. He fell in with bad people. But he was never like him. Not really. He had a good heart. Jeez. You know he's speaking One more thing. You know, from the heart for this. You won't have to worry about the Salamancas. The day is coming. There'll be justice. It's like, will there really be justice? justice? Yeah. I'm sorry, my Spanish ju judiciary justice. Like you really do? Do you really believe what you that? What you talk about is no justice. What you talk of is revenge. It never ends. God, my boy is gone. Was that was a cartel? You gangster, so no much justice. Oh, it's all the same one. You're all the same. That's a hell of a way to end your night, too. Just with the confirmation that your son is gone. You gangsters and your justice. That is a line right there. I think they got a new trash can. <laughs> From you kicking it so much. <laughs> we'll just put in an appearance. 20 minutes. Oh, get your asses. Oh, I know they had to show up to not raise suspicion, but fuck off. <laughs> They're at this man's memorial. As if, no, never mind. <sighs> I mean, nobody could relate to a client quite like he did. And it wasn't an act. He genuinely cared. He did. Stone doesn't seem real. Hmm. I mean, I oh, want to punch your ass in the face. Expect to see him charging down those stairs with a big grin on his face. You know, this is probably the last time any of us will be in this building. Why is that? Uh, he he was the last, and also he was the last hammer. Yeah, they're going to take Heffel Floor downtown, <laughs> and they're changing their name. All the original partners are gone. Changing right? their name to what? Uh, Rookner Partners? Something like that. End of an era. Yep. Yeah. Have you spoken to Cheryl? <laughs> um, not yet. <laughs> like he's so mad. Does not even have a body to put in the ground. I heard she took a leave from her practice. Uh, maybe we should go up there and pay our respects. Rich, good to see you. I wish it was under better circumstances. Yeah, you too, Kelly. Thank you. I wonder how the wife is going to feel. I mean, because, like, to, from what we yeah, saw, Jimmy, she didn't really I, care about I, this man sure, or like I, that. I'm Jimmy McGill. I don't know who you are. Let me have a check with Jim's brother. Of course. If Jimmy and I can do anything for you or your family, please just say the word. There is something, actually. Their last conversation was about Jimmy. You two were the last ones to see him, weren't you? Oh, and oh my gosh, she knows that too. I guess <laughs> so. Um, that's what the police said. Howard told me that you were harassing him. 
playing labyrinth pranks of some sort. I you wouldn't leave him alone. What do you have to say to that? I know he thought that. Uh, he, he told me as well. Um, I think he honestly believed it. You're denying it. The past few years, I could have. Um, I wish he had like some Vader tapes or something to, to catch him. Chance I got. I guess uh, there was a certain amount of jealousy on my part because Howard had the uh, respect of my brother, which I never. Tell me what you told the police. Okay, um, <clears throat> well, I mean, it was 11 p.m. Howard started pounding on our door. He was very upset. He's going on about something. Uh, don't uh, like doing this at. I thought it was my uh. fault. Uh, guess it had to do with the, the Sandpiper case, but I, I couldn't make head or tail out of it. We tried to calm him down. He just didn't seem like himself. Are you hearing all of this? Because none of it makes sense to me. Sure, maybe Ooh. we should change. I don't care what people are saying. I don't care what the police think. Howard was not on drugs. That simply is not true. There's something more to this. I don't know if it's my place. It's but not, but what do you have to say? I, I... Please, just spit it out. It was about a year and a half ago. I was oh still an associate here. Fucking working God. late. Every here we week. go. And I saw a light on in Howard's office. I assumed the cleaning crew left it on by mistake. And I was sure the office was empty, so I didn't knock. And? And Howard was there at his desk, head down. And he was smoking. <sighs> I looked at him. He looked at me. I didn't know what to do, so I just walked out. And the next morning when we saw each other, neither of us said anything about it. I never told anyone. But now I wish I had. I can't stand this. Oh my god. In all the years that you were <sighs> have you witnessed anything like this? Nope. Even a hint. Not until the locker room incident. Oh. Cheryl, this really isn't the time or the place. I can't stand. Oh, I hope. Mm. Girl, don't touch you were his her. Wife. You, you saw him every day. You knew him better than anyone. Maybe I misunderstood what I saw. You would have known. Please excuse me. Just playing in this girl's face. Her sister's here somewhere. I'm, I'm gonna go find her. I know that was tough. Um, but it's over. Healing began. Ugh. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> she said, Drive yourself home. <laughs> you, my ride. Now in session, the Honorable Judge Bearden presiding. Do I understand this correctly? You're requesting to withdraw from this case? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. My client is fully informed, and I've already been in touch with another attorney, Paige Novick. She's highly qualified and familiar with the case. She's prepared to step in if you'll allow it. Ms. Wexler, Mr. Orenstein approached the bench. You know what, Ms. Wexler? Mr. Orenstein's here. I am here. We all showed up for your party, and... Now you're taking away the punch bowl. I'm inclined to have you argue your motion, and then I'll consider later writing petitions. I'm sorry for wasting the court's time, Your Honor, but it's impossible for me to continue with this hearing. And why is that, Ms. Wexler? Because I'm no longer an attorney. Oh, shit. Sorry, what? I gave notice to the bar two hours ago. What are you gonna do now, girl? I don't feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, if things turn out differently, then maybe I'll, I'll be like, oh, no. But, y'all. Yeah. Mm -mm. Is that Jimmy? Mm 
guess that he just told, I mean, she just told him or, is, or does he have a problem too? I'm pretty sure it's going to be about her. We did what? Why? Why? All right. All right. I know why, but Kim, you can't just, Jimmy, I, I just let me say my piece. Okay. Just, but Kim, you don't just throw everything away. That this is your life. You're a lawyer. Okay. What's done can be undone. Now, all I'm saying is just, just let's take a week or two to think nope. it over. For now, we're gonna take some time off. And we're gonna leave here. We're never ever. That's where we get the match. Okay. Again. Now it's starting okay, to come gonna, together. We're gonna put it behind us. Things will look brighter. I guarantee it. But first, we have to fix this. So we're gonna go back to the hotel room, and you're gonna write letters. You're gonna write a letter to the bar. You're gonna write oh letters to your clients. God. You, you, you dictate. I will type. We're gonna roll this thing back. But Jimmy. This is just, what it took. Jimmy. She leaving. <laughs> you asked if you were bad for me. That's not it. We are bad for each other. Kim, don't do this. I have had the time of my life with you. But we are bad for everyone around us. Other people suffer because of us. It's true. Apart, we're... Okay, but together we're poison. No, no, just tell me what I need to do to change, okay? Just tell me what it is and I'll do it. Jimmy. No, Kim, you make me happy. We make each other happy. How can that be bad? Ask the people that <laughs> are, are in the ground because of you. <laughs> No, 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 Kim, you're wrong. This is about Howard. Okay, what happened to him wasn't on us. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't okay. my fault. It was that fucking Lalo Salamanca, that psychopath. And how did you get connected? He walked through that door. He did this, not us, him. I knew. You knew what? what? I knew he was alive. I saw that car following me again. And it turned out that Mike Ermintrout had guys watching both of us, watching for Lalo. Mike, Mike told you that Lalo was alive. And you didn't tell me? I thought, I thought it was a one in a million chance that he'd come for us. I thought he would be caught if he did. And I told myself I was protecting you. The real reason I didn't tell you was because I knew what you'd do. You'd want us to run and hide until you were sure I was safe. You would pull the plug on the scam and then, and then the, we'd break up. And I didn't want that because I was having too much fun. You actually admitted it, good job. I'm glad that she actually is now taking the responsibility. <laughs> God, his ass blame. It was Howard. It was fucking Lalo. And he could have walked away from this. Do you remember that? He was close to walking away. And then he got greedy and decided, you know what? I'm going to do this. This was all him. Oh, my God. Time, Time to, to go, go home. <laughs> Pimpin already has the, the new house. The what the? <laughs> just splurges all those millions. You're not listening. My client isn't just suing your company. He's coming after you personally. Listen. You, you is choice, there. Okay? I say be smart and write that check. You have till EOD. I'm so sorry I'm getting another call. Another public masturbator? Which one? Jesus. A new guy? Huh. Everyone must be doing it. I do love his closet. Oh my God. Shut up. Shut up. Auto insurance. Oh, his, <laughs> his little commercial going on the radio. Major or minor surgery gone wrong. I'm here for you, Albuquerque. 
Better call Saul. Call 505-503-4... Did you hear that? It's in mono. I'm not, I'm not paying for that muffled crap. Oh my god. Is that... Yeah, the Statue of Liberty, station, is that... <laughs> it reminded me of the Kettleman's... Screw the FCC. I'll go to the map with those and pencil he parked posters. in a handicapped spot. Oh. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> you handicapped? Oh, my That's God. <laughs> Call the bank, cancel the check. Yeah. Call the station manager, tell him to crank it up. Oh, look at Francesca. Jeez. Her office looks so good, but now, look. Yep, and now she's bitter. She, she put up a wall for herself. <laughs> This is what we recognize from uh, Breaking Bad days, and anyways, world's greatest lawyer. Yeah. What? All right. <laughs> Let justice be done, though the heavens fall. Man, I can't stand uh, Jimmy. <laughs> But I'll give Kim credit. You know, she finally looked at herself in the mirror and realized her faults and she decided to step away. That's good, but that does not take away all the mess that she's done up until that point. Jimmy, Saul, he's too far gone. I think we know that, especially since we know that he bleeds on over into the, the Breaking Bad universe. Um, but it's just, his he cannot just point the mirror at himself it always has to be someone else's fault if it's not lalo's fault it's howard's fault if it's not howard's fault it's chuck's fault it just keeps going until now the the, the funny part is now that all those people are dead who left does he have to blame so if something else does come up you can't blame dead people now <laughs> like he's gonna be forced to look at himself but like wow i did that that was me you know, up until this point, he has never, not once, taken responsibility for his own actions. It's always been another person that's to blame. And I cannot believe that even with all the stuff that he has experienced, he has not once just self-reflected and, and just realized, damn, I'm that bad apple. But, you know, I, I think that's just the overall plot with the show you know there, there there has to be something that you can take a step back and look at the big picture and jimmy is that big picture he's the the black blotch on the painting that ruined the the entire picture you know it's there's always something with jimmy and even though it took him this long to realize that you know just the sheer fact that this isn't something that she wants for herself and she punished herself too you know she decided you know what i'm 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 not a good lawyer anymore i i i don't think i can with a good conscience serve the you know the public while also dealing with all this backward stuff that i've been putting up with until now that i have literally conspired with until this moment and it pisses me off that it took not only chuck but um howard's death for her to realize that jimmy he'll he'll never realize it i think he he's just going to slowly just wither away until he just stops believing that he's the problem and i, I think funnily enough when he's to, you know when he's talking about you know while he and Kim were on the bed, one day you'll wake up and realize you stop thinking about it. I think he is the embodiment of that. He truly does just put all the shitty things that he's done in the back of his head. And then he warrants all of his actions just by saying, I deserve nice things or I deserve to get away with this. I deserve the success at any cost. But... I think we can see that as an audience. Kim could see that. Chuck saw it before every fucking body. Howard, you know, came to see that as well. It's just like everybody that encounters Jimmy. I, oh, Mike sees that too. 
but like everybody that encounters this man they just get burned they get burned but um okay I'm, I'm excited to see where we go from here i want to know exactly where kim went I think that, that would be a very interesting, maybe we'll dive into that next episode to see exactly how she's going to spend her life if she's not going to be a lawyer. What is she going to do now? You know, is, is she going to just completely um, rebuild herself into a new image that she's proud of? Because she was a fantastic lawyer. I think all of us could can agree to that, you know, in, in terms of just her overall dedication to her clients. She proved and time and time again that she wanted to do the right thing. All the pro bono cases and all that stuff. Yes, maybe that was her attempt to making herself feel better about, you know, her own personal decisions, especially when it came to Howard and all that, you know, the, the, the stealing and the lying and the scamming, all that stuff. Maybe this was her um, way to make up for it. This was her form of charity. But um, yeah, there, there's just so much to that entire situation that you have to take a step back and think about and then you realize that even the best people i loved kim at the very beginning of and for many seasons but the best people have you know aren't always the best you know but either way i'm going to end it there um of course if you guys are watching this over on youtube definitely check out the patreon for fully the access as well as early access to anything better call Saul plus any other shows movies that we are watching I will love your support, but aside from that, you guys have a great day slash night, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe.